Tips. First at six, Austin police are questioning a person of interest in the attack on Travis County State District Judge Julie Kasurik. Detectives want to know what role Shimani Onyeri may or may not have had in the shooting. The development comes as Houston detectives charged Onyeri this afternoon with murder in an unrelated case. KXAN's Chris Sadegi is at APD headquarters with more on the connections Onyeri had to the judge. Chris? Well, three years ago, Onyeri was arrested in Rollingwood and sentenced to probation in Kasurik's court. But then just a few months ago, his name ended up back on her desk. Onyeri and another man were pulled over in Rollingwood in 2012 and charged with credit card theft after Detective Joel Martin noticed more than a dozen credit cards in their vehicle that turned up stolen. Once we made the arrest, uh, I spent several weeks, um, built a task force out of several different counties, agencies, so on and so forth, to be able to actually understand their criminal element, what they're doing, what type of uh, financial crime they're actually doing. Uh, we located it, we placed it in Houston. But a Travis County judge, Julie Kasurik, signed off on a three-year probation sentence for the crime. Then this August, the state sought a warrant to arrest Onyeri after they say he committed fraud again, this time in Louisiana. Kasurik signed at that request as well. Rollingwood has been getting calls ever since Onyeri's name came up connected to the shooting. They're trying to dig a little bit deeper to see what we know, but the truth of the matter is, is we are not an investigating agency. Onyeri is now charged with murder in Houston. A murder charge against him in 2008 was dismissed. And Martin said Onyeri did not go quietly when he arrested him in 2012. Yeah, were they cooperative? No. <laughs> they were not No, 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 no. And Onyeri was arrested on that parole violation in September in Brazoria County and released on $20,000 bond. He faced between 2 and 20 years in prison. If that bond had been revoked in that fraud case in Kasurik's court, a court date had been set for December 11th. We're live at the APD headquarters. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. All right, Chris, thank you very much. And stay with KXAN and KXAN.com for the latest updates on this investigation. Online, you will find a timeline of the history of the person of interest in this case. It shows the charges filed against Onieri dating back to March of 2012.